Smell that? It's time for a swing dance reaction video. No. 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 Yes! Greetings and salutations. Welcome to Street Smart Swing. My name is Jamie Jackson, also known as the Galactic Swing Dance Umpire. <laughs> and I am super excited to be scrutinizing another Lindy Hop competition today. In fact, I'm not sure if this is a competition or not. I just saw by the thumbnail, it might be just a showcase of some dancers dancing or it could be a showcase competition. The old soul at Pingo Lettuce. I'm not even sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but I'm gonna tell you exactly what I like and what I didn't like about whatever this showcase means. Are we ready for it? Hey. Century Ball. Oh, Century Ballroom. That is in uh, Seattle or St. Louis? No, it's Seattle. That's right. That's right. This better be good. This is an American event. I'm not going to get my hopes up. I really mean that. The dancing isn't as good in America as it is in other places. Come at me if you disagree. All right, I don't. I see a lot of new faces, though. Let's see if these folks can surprise me. <laughs> this audience is outrageous. They are really into it. I love rowdy audiences. I got to tell you. It, it really does do something for like helping dancers get into it and not feel so insecure when you're up there dancing. All right, let's see what's going down. Got my notepad ready, this better be good! Ready, I'm nervous, okay. Come on, Americans. I don't know if everybody's American here, but I can assume. Henry and Julia. I like that, they put the names. Okay, and it looks like they're doing more social dancing than choreographed stuff. I like that. All right, next couple. Lloyd and Rebecca. Okay, that was fun. Some unexpected patterns. Let's see, Vasu and Teresa. Footwork, that's good. Yeah, I like that. Okay, Josh, whoa, what's up? Uh, I think her name was Anna, I missed it. Okay. 
All right. Yes. Okay, second couple. Yes. Yes. <clears throat> okay. Okay. <laughs> <coughs> yes. Ooh, this is a this is a toughie. Yes, I love that. The shifting and moving camera is making me a little nauseous. I have to admit that. I don't know when this like born ultimatum trend happened where you just keep the camera moving while dancers are moving. I don't know. I don't like it though. Woo! Yeah! Now I gotta tell you, <coughs> I gotta tell you, I was a bit surprised by that. I was, I was a bit, I wouldn't say a whole bunch, but just, just enough to say, I'm not going to turn this video off early. That was really surprising. And I'm going to tell you who surprised me. Th the thing about this is, if these were dancers that were uh, dancers I knew that had been here for a long time, I probably would shut the video off. Because I probably would have known what they were going to do. That's how it is for me when I watch a lot of the dancing. It just gets annoying. You see people do the same stuff over and over. They imitate the same people over and over. Everybody screams the same thing over and over. Can we get anything that's true and authentic? Is it okay to tell the truth and be authentic? And I'm glad I didn't see that. I saw one dancer I knew. I saw one dancer. And he didn't do what I thought he was going to do, which, is, which was made me good, made me happy. And it was a good experience. So now let me get down to my top two. I had two couples for me that were the top two and I am vacillating between which one I thought was the better couple for two different reasons. There were, there were, oh, let me first talk about um, Lloyd and Rebecca. Man, here's what I liked about Lloyd and Rebecca. They had the best choreographed pieces because their choreographed pieces within their Strictly did not look choreographed. That's what I liked about it, number one. It, it looked as if they could actually lead and follow whatever they were doing. Nothing looked too fabricated to look like, hey, look at the judges in point. It didn't have that feeling to it. And I will also tell you, the way that they, they did their choreography, there were a lot of unexpected patterns. I like that. That is what I prefer as a judge. That is very subjective in judging. So I gotta tell you, that has nothing to do with why I picked them to be in the top two. The reason I picked them is because technically they were the best. I would, I would argue that the next couple, they're both the same technically. So they had the control part down where I could see they could do most of the traditional jazz steps created by some of the original dancers and the second generation of dancers. They honored their movements. They didn't just do everything new. They didn't just swap roles and say, screw everybody else, we're gonna do what we do. They didn't do that. They came out, they represented Lindy Hop. And they did it so that I could see the leader and I can also see the follower clearly do their perspective and their role. That was beautiful. But the reason I liked uh, Lloyd and Rebecca is because the patterns that they had created 
that were choreographed did not look choreographed. And I also liked uh, their control. It looked beautiful. Now the follower, she, uh, Rebecca, she was doing some stuff early on. I think it was in their first set. Yeah, it was in their first set. Some of her uh, stops. I liked it. I liked her. She was my second favorite follower. Out of everybody. My second favorite follower. And I liked uh, Lloyd because of the artistic choices. I'm not sure if he choreographed it or they just simply worked together to do that. But I liked when he was leading, the choices that he was making were unexpected and different points. And my eyes are usually pretty sharp when it comes to seeing things coming. And they did a couple of moves where I kind of saw it coming, but then they did something different. And they changed it and it didn't look like he was flustered, so I knew it was intentional, which is beautiful. That's the best kind of stuff. Now let me get into the other couple that I thought is the top top two couples. Now, uh, Vasu and Ter Teresa. <laughs> oh, they were great. What, what I love. All right, she was crushing it. Her slides and stuff, I know it's not really original, Right? Everybody's been sliding lately. It's kind of the new thing. But slides aren't original, so nobody could just take credit for slides. But where she placed her slides, I could actually see them and value them more than anybody else's slides the entire time. She, she had a keen sense of when to move as a follower in a way that was embellishing what she would normally be doing. So instead of just going out in a triple step and doing the same move with her hand, looking at the audience, she didn't do that. She would break the convention by doing certain stylistic movements. She did a little wrap around with her leg. Uh, you got to go back and watch it, but she did it. I saw it the first time she did it because it was properly placed. And in doing that, that is a that is a very heightened sense sense of advanced following. Doesn't mean advanced following means oh I'm doing all this fancy stuff. No, 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 no. I'm not talking about fancy stuff as a follower because you can do a lot of fancy stuff and it doesn't actually mean that you're following. It just means you're doing fancy stuff, right? But you got to have two bodies come together to form one body sharing energy at different points. And not one time I saw that it looked like it was inauthentic. Like he was, Vasu was sending energy and all of a sudden the energy goes this way and she's doing something fancy. She didn't do that at all. She was the best dancer to me. Period. She, she crushed everybody. Teresa, she was killing it. And her slides is what got me going because it wasn't just that she did it. It was properly placed so an audience member could feel it and see it and almost smell it through my computer screen. It was great. <laughs> now, Vasu, some of the, the artistic choices, I like to swing out. I like the lines of his body. See, what I'm talking about right now is a subjective part of Lindy Hop. This is the part that you're not going to hear from judges. Because we like to keep the power in our minds. We like to tell you the reason why, maybe, in a private lesson. But most of the time, people aren't going to tell you why a person won. They're just going to say they got first place because they had better technique. right? But that represents such a small part. Both of these couples had equally great technique. They had weaknesses in certain parts, but it didn't mean their technique was weak. It just made it look like they weren't in control when they actually did something. So Vasu had... A couple of situations, a couple of times I could tell that uh, it looked like he was a bit uncomfortable or it looked as if what he was doing wasn't intentional. And I could be wrong, but those are those subjective elements that look like it impacts the objective thing. How weird is that? I mean, you could be in control moving like this and I can clearly lead someone, but sometimes moving in the wrong spot or not moving in a certain way so that your lines and your body accentuates what's happening naturally because of what you did that was objective, that sometimes makes it look like he had bad technique. And so I think in some of those cases, he suffered um, a little more than Lloyd. There were, there were some points where they got disconnected and they were just kind of doing solo jazz. I wish they would have done more together because they had the best looking dancing for me. Their lines looked beautiful. It didn't look too conventional. I could see the beauty of how their bodies naturally looked. They weren't trying to like fabricate a swing out. Like, I got duck butt. I'm gonna <laughs> put this shoulder back because like my teacher told me in my lesson I need to 
do this. They, I didn't feel like anything was just fake. I felt like it was their bodies moving naturally. That's hard to do. That's hard to do. Being authentic is extremely hard to do. And so for me, they felt the most authentic. She was great. She's the number one. He was great in terms of looking authentic, his movements. Now, the weaknesses that I thought, um, again, were those points where they kind of got separated and they were doing some solo jazz. The movements didn't look like as good when they were separate than it was when they were moving together. And that just could just be to, you know, maybe he wasn't as comfortable moving without a partner. I don't know. I don't know. I can't project that onto him. But I can tell you I didn't like those moments. I liked it when they were connected more. Now, when in case of Lloyd and Rebecca, going back to them, there were some moments when in their choreography he got a little bit ahead or he was a little behind. And you could tell that he wasn't too comfortable. It looked a little disjointed when they were trying to get to a certain stop and it just looked like, you know, a person clapping on the one and three. You know what I mean? It, it, there was a, a couple of moments like that where you could tell it was a bit off. But I preferred the, the, the connecting points. I preferred that they were connected more than separating. So both couples had weaknesses. Both had weaknesses that weren't really weaknesses. Those, these are subjective things. Maybe he wanted to look like he was disconnected. Maybe, maybe Vasu wanted to just look like, hey, this is my solo jazz style. It looks unconventional and you may or may not like it. Maybe that's what he wanted to do. So as a judge, I have to be completely open that this is not about how well they can dance. This is the realm of subjectivity, which is 75% of it. I got to tell you now which one I preferred, which one I liked. Style, creativity, the way they moved. I'm going with Vasu and Teresa number one. They were number one for me. I'm going for the technique and the control part. Those, those other two elements that I'm looking for. I go, with, I go with Lloyd and Rebecca. They were first for that. So the main part for me is the control and tech in the control part, which is the other word for technique, and the timing, which is how well they can do stuff to the music. So the music is amplified. They crush that. Lloyd and Rebecca really crushed that. And Vasu and Teresa crushed that. So they're tied on the timing part, but then it has to go down to personal preference. Am I gonna like the control part when they both can do the control? And one might have had the control as their main strength. They had some unexpected patterns and things like that. Or am I going to go with the individuality and the style? They had the control on the uh, Vasu and Teresa had control, but they also had a tremendous amount of style. And I'm going to go with the control and style before I go with the control and time. I'm just going to do that simply because if I had... A choice to say who's going to inspire dancers in the future it's going to be the ones that have individual expression and they have control not just the perfect control or everything just looks flowery and packaged and perfect delivered to you by Amazon here's my Lindy Hop performance no problems perfectly presented that's not Lindy Hop for me like I said for me because jazz is not all about everything being super choreographed and polished. There's a tremendous amount of vulnerability. The musicians do it. You got your rhythm section and then you have your soloists and they improvise and they feel the emotions of the moment and they work together in concert. That vulnerability and moving with what you have and, and controlling what you can in that moment is the vulnerability that is needed in swing dancing, not just in the music. So for me, I gotta see the creativity part, those who are willing to take risks more so than those who are willing to just choreograph and package it perfectly to me and say, hey, here's, here's life. This is what it is. I'm just presenting to you the perfect, you know, the perfect profile online. Here it is. This is my life. That's not true. So in a way, I, I, I don't like choreographed stuff as much as I would the real improvisational aspects of it. Not to say you can't do both. Don't get it twisted. I'm not implying that at all because the choreographed part is part of Lindy Hop too, but I would not say it's the part that keeps us in Lindy Hop. It's the part that gets us in. It's inspiring to watch performance, but the part that keeps you in is you keep coming back because you want to social dance. You want to connect individually with people. So there you have it, folks. That's my opinion. My top two, number one goes to Vasu or Vesu and Teresa 
and Lloyd and Rebecca. So congrats to those dancers. Congrats to everybody who performed because it's not easy getting up in front of a group of people when your moves can mess up and be permanently out there on the internet. And every time you look at a video or you think about Lindy Hop, all you're gonna think about is all the negative that's happened, which is usually just a modicum of representation of your life, but that's gonna haunt you for the rest of your life. And I know it's not easy to get in front of an audience to do that. So congratulations to all the people who jumped out there and did it and uh, crushed it. But those are my favorite too. Who do you think should have won this competition? And tell me why. I'd love to know who you thought was the best dancer and why. Because of course we're talking about judging competitions, which 75% of it is subjective. The, the part that is objective is super easy. It's just intentionality, looking authentic, and being able to control your role as a leader and follower without interrupting the, the, your partner's role, right? And that part is not hard. We all know how to do basic swing. The hard part is those nuanced areas of elevating the music with timing and creating an individual expression that's respectable. Who are you within this Lindy Hop legacy without tearing down everything that's come before to make yourself look good? No, no, no. Do everything that came before and add volume, add, add your unique value to it. That's, that's the dancers of the future. And I told you who were my favorites. So I want to hear who your favorite dancers were. If you're not in the game and you're like, I want to be able to do this, you should take some of my free courses below. I got my home, my home studio. People are like, why don't you start an event again? Nope, done events. They're, I like doing events, but that it comes and goes, right? And not everybody that comes to an event is serious about learning the art form. It's kind of a social thing, right? We just want to get together, have a good time, social dance. There's, there's pros and cons of it. I don't like it as much. There's a lot of cons to it that get in the way of actually making the dance better and making the music better. Those are the two small, those are the biggest reasons why we go to events. That should be the biggest reason. Dancing and playing an instrument. But it's not the case. So my school is online. I made my school online. So if you're someone who's absolutely serious about this art form and you want to learn how to do it and you want to dance and, and be better at it, I encourage you to check out my fundamentals membership. I'm telling you, I spent 10,000 plus hours to analyze how simple Lindy Hop should be so that other people can just immediately get into the dance and within months master the technique and then do the hard part, which is discovering what your personality is and your unique contribution to the art form. That's the hard part. So check that out if you get a chance. If you wanna just check out some of our moves that we post every single week, I have up to 30 classes for you guys to check out. It's really fun. It's a lot of my original movements. Like I said, that's the stuff that really gets me going is creating new things all the time that you can lead and follow on the social dance floor. So check that out if you are interested. Again, like I said, give me your thoughts on these two couples. Who do you think was the best couple? Let me know in the comments section. If I don't see your comments below, hopefully I'll get a chance to see you in one of my